Well, here in this uh, video I'm trying to uh, show the famous so-called step potential. Um, yeah, the long broken line is in the middle of uh, Sol, and um, yet you never know where the earth spin is. In uh, this particular setup, uh, I've got the active wire in the middle here, and I've got the earth on this side, and uh, we'll see if we get some of these neons to glow. Neon bulbs, they glow at about uh, 70 volts plus. Line down, energize at 4.4 kV. Do we have any glowage on the neons? Yeah, they're glowing. Depends on the earth fairness in this situation. The energizer don't want to destroy my bulb. The energize device. Well, in the real world, with MEN systems, you don't know where the actual earth is, so there could be multiple earths, which there will. Line down, we've got an earth here by a house, for example, another earth here, and another earth here. We'll see how the current is going to spread and what lights can go out. Well, multiple lights glow now, that looks pretty cool. Some lights are not really stressed, it depends on soil conditions, wetness, etc. As you see, the path varies. Hot spot in the middle there, but that's alright. That's like the line arcing. I've added in some orange LEDs. Have my down voltage of 2.2 volts. Let's see what happens. That is very cool. They are for visual, very good for step attention. Energize the device. Power supply used is uh, two MOTs, anti-parallel, ballasted. I you should reduce the count more on this device because it's used for a Vos AC Wasp Zapper as well. Thanks for watching. Rodolco 2007. I'm going to do a quick retake on the video as uh, there was too much glare. See if this is a bit better, it's gone a bit darker now. And adjust the device. And these clouds, they're all blown more or less. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Here, yeah, adjust the device. No angle, the shot. Down with the single earth. There was a single earth. Um, I pulled the other ones out. We de energized. I'll see how that's gonna look. So, let's have a good two earths on the far end. So, you had only a single earth somewhere on the line, then the LEDs will be going on the far end. As you can see. Yeah, adjust device. So I put an earth back in on this side so there was another good earth pin somewhere. And then we'll yeah, get some glowage back in the front. I'll do that in one take. Here on this diagram I'll just try to explain the step potential a little bit better. Um, got the lines not sketched correctly so um, in general you've got a couple of earthing points in a uh, location could be earth bank, a house earth or a pole earth or something from ABS anything like that so 
got the sketch here, situation, line is broken. You have step potential in circles here, step potential in oval type things here. Um, yeah, with the LEDs and the neons, I'll try to uh, express it. So, line is down, power will flow, takes the easiest way, goes in directions towards uh, earth pins, and uh, yeah. Uh, the best is to visualize it with the light indicators. hope it makes sense what I'm saying here. Then the thing to mention is if on a broken line with a three phase load, so the supply side is here, feed is live, but also the power on the other side will go through the winding on the transformer delta star usually, so the wire on the return path will be live as well. That's the thing to take into account, um, yeah.